Thanks for watching CSE Outdoors. Guys, if you want to win one of the best looking, best cooking barbecue pits in Texas, call us. Pits and Spits has been generous enough to donate a pit for us every month to give away. Thanks for watching CSE Outdoors. We'll be right back. The best looking, best cooking barbecue pits in Texas are right here in Houston. Pits and Spits has everything you need to make outdoor cooking a great experience. Custom trailer pits, outdoor kitchens, pitch pits for tailgating or the deer leads. All the spices, all the accessories, all handmade with quality and durability being the number one priority. Visit our showroom just north of Warcopy on 59 North or shop online at pitsandspits.com. The best looking, best cooking pits in Texas. Often imitated, but never duplicated. Pits and Spits. We are here with Melinda Jackson of the Kilowatt Cooker Team and the Family View Cooker Team. Melinda, what are you cooking there? I've got an access tenderloin that I'm doing in bacon wrap. It's been marinating all night long in some soy sauce and brown sugar. That's about it. That's a nice, simple recipe for the field. Yeah, you could do this anywhere. And they're just going to throw it on the grill. Perfect for tailgating. Yep. We're pretending it's in Indianapolis cold. There you go. The Texans are going to kick their butt today. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Right. Woo. Absolutely. This is our year. Awesome. And you're going to smoke that or are you going to grill it? We're going to grill this. Gotcha. We're here with Kevin Jackson, Kilowatt Cooker, the head chef of the Family Feud cooking team. Kevin, you got the grill going, man. What do you got on there? Yeah, well, for starch today, we have some baby back ribs. Then we have something a little different. What we do is we take olives that are stuffed with chipotles, feta cheese, or jalapeno, we wrap them in bacon, we season them up, and then we throw them on the grill for appetizers. Dude, that smells incredible, dude. It's something just a little bit different. It's a good start to a tailgate. And you can do it anywhere. Simple, yeah. simple right? easy. good for the deer camp, wherever. Exactly. Just fire it up and have, and have a go at it. Yep. That smells awesome, brother. What kind of spice you use? We use bits of spits, uh, spicy rib rub on those. Cool. Gives them a good flavor. The rib rub. Yep, the rib rub. Awesome, brother. Well, Melinda, what you got on the grill? All kinds of stuff. Oh, gosh. This is our Axis tenderloin. That looks completely amazing. It smells even better. It is starting to smell pretty good. Isn't it? Oh, my God. We got some baby backs. Those are looks just about done. Yep, they're getting there, aren't they? The perfect compliment to our tailgating party. Woo! That accent smells delicious. It smells different. I know it's not pork or beef. Yeah. You can smell it. You it's, can tell it's, it's a little different. bit different. Yeah. Back over. Those ribs look amazing, Melinda. We're here with Eddie Wynn. About to check on those smoked dove and quail. Just check the pit out, baby. Oh, yeah. They're going. Woo! That smells great. What kind of wood are you using to smoke it with? Oh, you got the grill happening. It cuts the grill. I see it. We're just grilling them. How's that axis coming along, Eddie? I, I think it's getting close. Though. Oh, dude. I think it's getting close. That looks utterly fantastic. Moist, juicy. I think it's close. And uh, that's the grilled quail. This is the grilled we, quail. Which we moved from the smoker to finish off over here, right? That's right. That looks ready. I think they're done. It's amazing. I see uh, Kevin or somebody throwing some steaks here, too, baby. steaks on. That is a tailgating grill right there. Catch us next week on CSE Outdoors.